Hello guys, how are you? How you doing? Thank you very, very much for tuning in and thank you for actually browsing my videos and watching my videos. And of course, guys, I would like to thank you in advance for supporting me because without you, I won't be here. So anyway, if you haven't actually subscribed yet, can you please subscribe and also don't forget to click all and share this video and also don't forget to watch the video that way I can get the algorithm analytic work side by side and community support by giving me a big thumbs up and also don't forget to leave related comment underneath of the description box okay so anyway welcome welcome good morning good afternoon and good evening magandang magandang umaga magandang hapon po at syempre magandang gabi din sa inyong lahat so anyway today i am just going to blog about how to sell products and merchandise as you can see there are so many books out there for example books that you can purchase right there are so many books that you can purchase and then you can read and you can actually learn from the book okay there are so many 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 different kind of books also there are books also for how to monetize video and marketing program and how to sell actually in front of the desktop laptop cell phone or online so in reality even if you think even if you think you can sell even if you have the knowledge to sell products because i'm pretty sure you can read the description of the product or the merchandise or maybe you are selling houses or maybe you want to sell car or vehicle or maybe you want to sell big stuff like properties or maybe um, buildings of different kind of businesses that you want to sell it doesn't matter what it is even if you have some cum laude diploma even if you are a scholar maybe if you have a degree and you have all those diploma that you you can say hey i am qualified to sell but not everybody can sell because even if you are the smartest person all over the world still you are lacking one thing if you have all the knowledge to sell but if you don't have actually in it in your heart in your mind in your soul and if you're really not a people person it's very very hard to convince other people to purchase a product or merchandise even if you want to sell a house it takes patience and also it's very very important to each and everyone who wants to become a social media influencer is to be passionate about the products about what you are selling and also to know what are the benefits in picture that you are trying to offer to the customer or client for example if you're selling houses you should know exactly what the customer actually getting from that house if they purchase that house everything about the house you have to really explain slowly and thoroughly so that they can understand it and then if you are buying cars or vehicle it doesn't matter what it is even just a very very small actually product or merchandise you have to know what's the product actually made of or that merchandise or how it made okay so anyway even if you can speak fluently in english even if you are born in america even if you are from different countries even if you do not know how to speak english it doesn't matter okay what's more important is how you are trying to present the products and merchandise where the customer and client can understand it okay it's very very important because the client or customer are actually facing to you if it's not in internet or online business if it is one-on-one -on -one, they, they are actually watching how you react how your eyes actually move around your action your demeanor and of course your i mean the way how you want to present the presentation demonstration because in reality it is through demonstration presentation where the selling began okay it's very very important so for example you are on the internet and they cannot see you 
So in reality, if they cannot see you and you're trying to describe the product description and whatnot, you really have to be able to say the truth and the pros and cons and also all the benefits that they can actually uh, get. Even just, for example, the warranty, the guarantee and the repair. Because when it comes like, for example, merchandise, like big stuff, okay, for example, if they're going to spend more than $500, they want to make sure if something happened with the product or the merchandise, if they can return it, or they can repair it, or whatever it is, or they can exchange it. There are so many things, and this is why not everybody actually can sell, okay? Not everybody is qualified to sell, but there are people, and there are actually individuals who wants to work in sales because they need a job. So if you need a job as a salesperson, but you are not in it, 1 million percent is not going to materialize the way you want it. Even if you are like, for example, because there are different kind of sales that you can earn a lot of money. Sometimes you could have a salary. It depends. Is it monthly or by the hour? Or you can earn um, salary or commission. Uh, either who is actually bigger. For example, if you make a lot more of commission, of course you're going to take the commission base, right? Instead of your salary. So it really depends on the situation. But anyhow, in sales, I love sales. So if you love sales, I'm going to ask you, or whoever is going to ask you, why do you love sales? Is it because of the company or is it because it is your passion? It is really, uh, you are a people person. Because if you just like to sell, but you are not into people, it's very hard to transfer all that energy. So anyway, in sales, it's very, very important to have a, a good rapport to a uh, customer. So, most of customer, it doesn't matter where they came from, it doesn't matter what is their national origin, it doesn't matter if you speak English fluently or not, as long as you're selling it and you have some knowledge about selling, those are good and great. So mostly, a lot of times, people are so understandable. Even if you say, hey, uh, <laughs> I mean, I use this all the time. I would say in real life, okay, hey, uh, I am not good. Uh, I am not fluent in English, but I will try to help you and get the best deal that you need. And of course, the best quality. And I would like to explain it to you. Why do you have to buy this and why do you need this because 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 you know you have to explain so many things and sometimes with my second language I get tongue-tied but it's okay you know what mostly customer love it when you are just you if you are authentic if you are legit and you just actually I mean trying to be honest that hey if in case you have a question and if I cannot answer it can you help me also can can we do research since the Google is available and we can Google it together, you know, and find out together. Be honest to the customer. Just let them know. Let them know, hey, I don't know anything about it, but I am willing to do research. I mean, if you are so honest, the customer itself will help you. So it's very, very important if you want to sell, like I said in the beginning of this video, it doesn't matter how many books you read. It doesn't matter how smart you are. But if you are not a people person, and if you are not patient, and if you are not actually uh, have knowledge about the product and merchandise that you want to sell, you are not going to be able to sell it. And this is why many, many, many salesperson in different kind of business, whether it is retail or in the company they don't last long the turnover is so high because it's just they are not getting the real satisfaction mostly people sell because they need the job and mostly people sell because they just want to earn extra income but not actually enjoying it so for me as a blogger if you want to sell and exceed in sales you have to love what you're doing because sales is like actually sometimes it's boring and sometimes you really have to create uh energy that would drive the energy to come in
to to you because if you don't then you're going to be stuck and you'll be like every other person in sales like oh my goodness another day i am waiting for the time to get up to work mostly people like working for eight hours and they keep looking at their watch and they're not doing anything so if you really 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 love to sell it's easy to sell a product or merchandise because you'll be talking to people and of course being a salesperson you have to love to talk and love to blog because if you don't then <laughs> if you're shy to talk then you would never know what's the customer wants reality let me tell you something that is so funny reality most people are not really buying because they need it sometimes they buy by impulse or sometimes they just want to purchase something I don't know what it is it's just a human nature and this is why to avoid for the customer and to return the merchandise or product is to really educate the customer what are those things the basic things is to teach them how to work on that products for ex just for example if they're buying a cell phone and it is an updated cell phone just for example this is just an example okay for disclaimer this is an example for example i purchased this iphone okay iphone pro max number i mean 14 and then if i purchase this but if the salesperson did not actually help me to understand what kind of features and a specification in it all i'm going to do is just dial or just look around on the social media but i don't know how the settings work then of course you end up returning it because you will like oh this is too much this is just too updated i rather have what i have before and i want to return it so but if you for example just for example you purchase a for example a sounds card uh live sounds card for your actually uh, live streaming and if you do not know how to install or how to work on that sounds card trying to connect to a software you don't know and then you'll be like oh i don't need music like for example okay this is just an example these are the sounds card uh sounds effects <laughs> just sample okay my sample if for example you purchase the live sounds card and you have it in your hand and you're like wait a minute where are all this cable supposed to go and how i'm going to connect it to my laptop to my desktop or to my cell phone right and if nobody's going to help you how to do the settings if you don't have nobody at home or if you don't know at all then you are actually going to feel bad because you are stuck you are going to wait for someone to help you to install it unless you are creative and go to google and go to youtube and try to search how to install the live sounds card okay so there are so many different kind of things sometimes we forgot that the internet is available for us if in case we do not know how to install something right so this is why it's very very important it is true presentation demonstration where the selling began and also that is where the trust between the customer and the client or the salesperson or sales representative actually develop their excellent communication through rapport by engaging you have to ask question you have to qualify the customer and the client for example this is just an example if you are trying to sell a house you have to make sure that everything that the customer actually or the client wants to know you have to let them know and you have to educate them for example so many people actually it is normal it is human being not everybody has a perfect credit and of course when they trying to go to the store trying to purchase merchandise that are a little bit expensive or they trying to purchase a car maybe just maybe because not everybody has savings okay and even if some people have sa savings they are not going to spend that money they rather loan some credit okay so for example there's a customer actually love the car okay the vehicle 
but the concern is the monthly payment and this is why you have to sit down the customer you have to explain the price of the car and you have to divide it by for example 36 months or 12 months however the customer wants to pay the monthly payment and then you really have to help to understand the customer and then for example if you're selling the house it's the same thing because they need to loan some money whether it is from the builder or to their bank okay so you really have to explain so many things and not only that because a lot of times when people also buying a home for first-time buyer they assume that everything they have seen in the house is comes with the house actually it's not you have a different option to upgrade for example if they want upgraded tiles on the floor or whatever the wall the ceiling i mean there are so much to it that involve it's not just because you see the house is available is for sale that is the house that you are going to purchase unless it is like a old house okay even if it is an old home you still have to renovate and you have to negotiate okay there are so many things actually uh, comes with it so now being a social media influencer is the same thing even if you are inside of your home or somewhere you have to explain what you are trying to convey in front of the camera because very very important for example there are so many actually content creator and some of them has no clue how to edit and trim has no clue how to create a youtube channel has no clue how to really upload a video and this is why so many youtuber blogger content creator are always available and believe me or not the reason i love social media is because for example i would like to know how to upload a video in instagram or facebook or youtube everybody is so generous everybody are willing to help because you know one thing that is so great about being a social media influencer youtuber blogger is because they are always out there helping and they are not afraid to share their talent their skill it's because they know that when they give out 100 percent of their uh, ability to be able to share their knowledge and everything they will have so many many followers the more you help the more followers you have and subscriber and this is why i love being a social media influencer so anyway it's very very important to be a social media influencer has nothing to do how many subscriber do you have whether you have 1 million subscriber or one subscriber but if you have the experience and you have actually walked to walk on it and you already have the knowledge then you are an influencer if you can actually talk and and if you can convey what you want to say whether the whole world knows you or not in your own satisfaction you are an influencer because you already convinced yourself that i can do this i love this i can do this the one thing that is really difficult if you are the critic of your own uh doing so if you love what you're doing and you agree what you're doing and you truly believe that you can do it you're already successful so anyway all of this book is just bonus okay all this book is just bonus okay but it's always great to have some books because you need to be motivated for example never give up you're stronger than you think and then the most 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 beautiful treasure uh, book that i truly feel that is awesome book of dural eves the youtube formula how anyone can unlock the algorithm to drive views build an audience and grow revenue and the reason i love this book because as a grandmother i have no clue about social media reality and i don't know how to work on the dashboard or the back office which actually called youtube creator studio i don't know anything what's going on in there in the beginning of my journey in youtube but it took me three years to really really understand how youtube actually works and then of course the reason i purchased all of this book because social media for me is just new for me okay i found 
or I heard about social media in 2019 because in the past of my lifetime I was so busy on my own building my life okay trying to get situated trying to establish myself I work three jobs and therefore I have no knowledge about social media because no one actually I know that actually uh, doing a social media so if they do they never told me because maybe they assume I know social media so anyway there are so many things that we need to know like for example how to monetize videos and then social media marketing for business mastery uh, blogging for beginner profits income and then marketing advertising influencer podcast and so on this is actually from Brand, uh, Brandon business okay Brandon business guide so you have to have some guidance you cannot be a master uh, soon as you join the social media you're going to walk different kind of step before you can become successful I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure even if you talk and and speak to different successful youtuber blogger content creator they actually have experience to have one subscriber I think they actually have one subscriber in the beginning just like us unless those blogger are already have followings for example if they may be actor actress or maybe they have their own business or maybe simply they have so many many friends but unlike me I don't even have one friend who has a social media so this is why it took me three years to really understand it and if I do have friends in the social media for example here in YouTube or Facebook Instagram those are not real friend those are acquaintances because I haven't really seen them in real life only on the chat room or on the what do you call that um, yeah social media so in the internet so anyway if you are looking to be on social media to sell you really have to do homework you really have to know how to how the ropes is being done because there are different kind of techniques you can just sell and and assume that people will come to you there are so many things that you need to learn how to tag how to do um, SEO and link and I mean they are just so confusing if you are not familiar with the social media unlike so many young people since they know the social media because it was in their own era but me since I am a grandmother I mean I don't know anything about social media but since I love sales I got the idea well I said to myself if I can read something if I have some mentors that I can actually um, follow and check how they do it then it's not impossible to become successful so not everyone know how to sell products and merchandise and if you want to know here in social media it's all about success it's all about opportunity it's all about sales because even if you are not selling reality your videos because you're looking for views is still selling you have to convince them to watch your video you have to make actually um, bridge to make friends with them according for them to subscribe to you right so it's still the same selling whether it is material things money or it is actually merchandise if you are talking just for example I am gonna get out the topic for example you are married or you are uh, actually have a boyfriend or vice versa a girlfriend right or a wife for example you are married you still have to do selling for example you are trying to convince your husband hey we need a new car and then you're gonna explain why and you have to tell them um, uh, I mean tell him or tell her why do you want a new car and what is the reason and you have to sell the the actually products or the merchandise or the property that you are trying to purchase to your partner because you have to convince this is big money this is a commitment this is not something that you just grab from your savings account and splurge it's not something like that you really have to compromise and said okay this is what I want I want 
a new car and the monthly payment is like this what do you think about that and also the reason i need a new car because this old car actually has so much already uh damage and uh, different kind of uh, going on so many maintenance so many repair by the time that we keep going to the repair shop it's just mounting the price and the amount is really getting expensive but if I have a new car then it would eliminate all this issue right so you still sell so even if you said to your husband I love you I mean you're still trying to convince him that your love is still there so it's still selling it's not really practically selling like selling okay but you still have to convince it's the same thing here in social media you have to convince people why they want why you want them to follow you is because you offer what kind of services you offer for example you're offering free tutorial free knowledge free uh actually different kind of um tutorial that you want to give away like for example this is just an example I go to different uh, live streaming because they offer actually tutorial for different kind of scenario like how to edit, how to trim, how to find subscriber, how to actually get involved with affiliate program or membership or how to earn extra income. There are so many things and this is why it's very, very important branding even if you don't have nothing to sell to brand yourself so the reason you are branding yourself you are actually telling them uh, through your hashtag for example USA live stream and then I put hashtag tutorial or sell or hashtag blog and lifestyle okay so for example those are the those things because you are branding your your name or your channel so that people can recognize who you are and if they see you oh i know she loved tutorial let me just browse around to her and then if you are selling not selling as like selling selling for example you have a membership program that you want to offer your perks okay you are offering different kind of perks in your membership program you still have to sell it to those who wants to join that's why you are like guys i have a membership program where i i will actually do a shout out to your channel help you to increase your uh, subscriber i will help you to do your live stream collaborate with you in different kind of things those are just example okay so not everybody can be a salesperson but you can practice but the main thing that i am trying to stress is you have to be a people person if you love people you don't even look on people flaws but you are looking on their uh, actually how they treat you how uh, they try to to guide you and trying to to support you those are the most beautiful things that you can do because once you have that mentality that you you you, you put a wall the people cannot really get into you because they were like oh i feel awkward when i talk to her or when i talk to him so i'm trying to stay away and you're walking like eggshell right but if you tell everybody hey i am here to help you and i am here trying to get to know you and of course people would like well let me try and check her out to see if it is really true because you cannot blame people sometimes they put wall because they have been through so much maybe somebody actually did something wrong to them and they lost trust but if you build that trust to someone that is called investment and they are investing to you because they know that you will help them all the way without leaving them aside when you become successful and this is very very important like for example how to sell product and merchandise very important it is not about greetings and communication breaking the ice you really have to say hey for example for example so you trying to sell this earring okay just for example you're trying to sell this earring to someone who's looking on it and then you you would like to describe what kind of stone actually on that earring and also what kind of actually the stem is it gold plated is it gold is it 
uh, platinum? Is it silver? And then, of course, you have to describe the design, and it is great also for everyday use. Is it only for uh, occasional uh, accessories for someone, or it's a daily use? You have to actually uh, describe the earring. It is like a hoop with a dangling uh, piece of actually um piece of actually a great diamond on the sides okay so the diamond is not as flawless okay so you have to describe so many things and then is it actually um a great buy the price point and so on right so there are so many things and a lot of times people buy because they like it but even if they like it you still have to actually demonstrate the product the most important thing is actually when it comes camera video camera so a lot of times being a content creator blogger and also a youtuber they're going to ask you what kind of blogging camera actually is great but in reality it is not about what the camera brand it is about the specification whether um the person can afford to purchase an expensive brand camera but in reality you have to ask them and you have to really try to qualify them are you willing to spend a thousand dollars for a camera or are you buying a beginner camera there those are things and then you have to actually uh, express to them the pros and cons okay because if you purchase a blogging camera that has so much specification but if you don't know how to use it then you are just wasting your money or maybe if you are a beginner maybe you just want a camera shoot and film where you can actually shoot and then film it and then just edit and trim at the end or in the beginning something that you can actually work on yourself without asking everybody help because a lot of times people was like oh I really want to purchase a brand name but if you don't have the money do not compromise to buy an expensive actually gadget if you are not a hundred percent sure that you want to stay in the social media for a year or five years because if you're spending one thousand dollars camera but you are not going to stay in a social media more than a year then you are wasting unless that is your hobby you really want to take for photography so there are so many reasons so anyway you got my point right so not everyone can be a salesperson if you want to become a social media influencer trying to work with different kind of company affiliate program because without knowledge and always remember also there are no orientation it's all self actually uh, study you have to do everything by yourself it's not like a, a academy that you have to go through and attend but of course there are different kind of um, courses that you can take but you have to pay money it's not free okay unless if you are actually um, know someone who can give you a free tutorial okay and even so even in YouTube it has actually free tutorial so many gurus actually are explaining to you but some people they rather actually learn from a course where they can actually um, get the person in zoom on one-on-one -on -one basis but actually reading by only without interacting is very difficult because in reality you have to act on a real person because you don't know how they actually act on real time okay for example uh, just for example uh, you are selling a product and you like okay um i am going to sell this just example okay i'm selling this car and then you have to really uh, be able to communicate with the customer ask them is it four door or two door or is it for family car i mean you really have to ask is it suv are you looking for suv you have to ask a sports car you have to know if they can drive automatic or manual and then there are so many things and also you have to qualify them because you don't want to show them something that they cannot afford because you end up making them feel disappointed because i have that experience myself when i was young I was looking for a car and this guy bought, broke me 
to the most expensive car. I was like, back in the days, that was like expensive, $800 monthly. There's no way I can pay for that. You know, $800 monthly for SUV. I mean, you have to qualify the person. You can't just drag the customer around, walk around in the parking lot and show every car. This is why it's very important, is try to qualify the customer. And if you can do that, and if you love to talk, and if you like to communicate, and you love people, and you have a lot of patience, then you can sell. But if you don't have the patience, it's very, very difficult. So anyway, it's all about actually um, doing the homework, and not only doing the homework, to enjoy the passion and the needs that you want to acquire. The reason I say needs, because for example, I am a salesperson, I wanna sell house, I wanna sell car, and I want to sell everything else, okay? Just for example, well, I cannot just sell, sell, sell without doing my homework. I need to know about the person who's buying, okay? For example, you need to qualify maybe that person just bored <laughs> maybe that person just bored and want to waste time so you really have to qualify are you really sure that the person is buying a home because maybe the person just want to do sightseeing it would be a waste of time that is why it's very very important to qualify ask many many questions as much as you can but like i said no matter how many books you read how many times you you already familiarize all the things that you need to know but if you are not a people person if you don't have the patience you cannot sell that is why it takes guts it takes courage it takes real real action to do selling it's not just about talking and just trying to say yeah okay that's beautiful oh my goodness this is awesome it's not something just like that you really have to demonstrate and you have to get to know the person because for example, if you're selling houses and it costs $500,000, it means that the bank is need to be involved because not everybody has cash. So you really have to qualify them. They need to file a loan if they want to go through their own bank and then you have to actually guide them what to do if in case they have a bad credit, how to fix it. And then also you need to guide them how to really get all their FICO score. And then there are so much to it involved. So you do research, you do homework, and then you need to ask questions. I mean, sometimes it gets old because you ask so many, many questions and then you have to actually explain to them, do not get offended, okay? I'm going to ask you actually a personal question. Do you owe anyone? And then how much money can you put down payment? I mean, you really have to really, really, really dig and try to find out to see if there are qualified. So anyway, to be a sell, uh, actually to be a sales person, you have to enjoy what you are doing. It's just like what YouTube say. Remember what YouTube say? You have to passion uh, you have to find your passion, your niche. Because the more you enjoy what you're doing, it's easy to transfer because a skill is transferable. If you're into that passion, it's easy to connect to another person. And also, when it comes to sales, you have to have a clear mind and your energy has to be really in the right uh, positive because once that positive actually uh, get tangled up with negativity you lost your enthusiasm so you really have to embrace what you are into and you cannot you cannot be actually disturbed or you can be like uh, some people is going to give you a different kind of signal of negativity you cannot entertain those things you cannot because you need your positive energy because you are talking to people you are trying to communicate to people because people can feel if you having a big problem or issue they can feel it through your action the way you talk the way your eyes glitter so you really have to make sure that this is what you want if you are that kind of person who really into sales whether you are selling houses or selling house 
selling a uh, vehicle or maybe selling jewelry or maybe selling furniture or life insurance you have to be a people person because it takes time to process the thoughts of another human being because you have to convince them and then sometimes in the middle of negotiation they're going to back up because they have some information that you didn't ask and they feel offended or maybe they are ashamed of it because you didn't actually qualify them then the rejection will come because they will say oh i am so busy and then the communication cut off and they disappear and you disappeared so this is very important qualifying the customer qualifying the person client or customer to buy the product is to really 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 understand them where they're coming from and if there are two people you have to speak to those two people side by side not leaving one aside alone because then maybe the other person will say hey let's go i am bored <laughs> so anyway even if you are scholar even if you are the smartest human being in this world even if you have read all those books if you are not a people person you cannot become a salesperson because it takes energy to really really sell and it takes actually confident to talk to someone because you never know maybe the customer is irate or maybe they have bad attitude so you still have to be in control of the situation to make them feel great to make them feel that they are very very important and very special anyway this is just a blog about how to sell product and merchandise it is through presentation demonstration where the selling began and then you have to develop a good communication a good rapport because if you have a great communication with the customer the client then you can sell the product and that's how easy it is anyway thank you very very much this is just a blog trying to share to you what i know and if you don't mind don't forget subscribe and give a big thumbs up for community support don't forget come back and see me again okay thank you